Molly Giannis, and I'm the founder of Echo Consulting. We're a project management solutions company, and we have a lot of traction with Smartsheet implementations, and Smartsheet just did another product drop, so there's some new features, and one of them I'm really excited about. Um, it's called, uh, it's a special column type that's specifically for columns, uh, for, uh, for seeing comments, and I just want to show you this functionality. So I'm gonna to go to just a basic project plan in one of our solution sets. And over here to the left, you can see this comment functionality. And if I wanna go ahead and add a comment to this phase, for example, and I want to go ahead and say, um, example comment for phase one, right? Maybe to give an update on phase one, for example, right? And I can send that. And from there, I can see who sent it and I can see when they sent it. I can go ahead and reply to myself, say, cool, post, right? If I wanted to, I can attach things and they can at mention people. So at Molly, cool post, Molly. And I'm gonna send this, right? And that's great. And from anywhere, I can come here and see that there's a conversation. It'll come out and I can kind of see this threaded conversation. But what if you want to be able to see this update in a dashboard? So let me just show you an example um, of our dashboard. Um, so a project dashboard, and it might have some information about the project manager and the lead and all this other good stuff, but some organizations want to have a project update. So in the past for our clients, what we've done is we provided this rich text field where they can go ahead and update something. So I can say project update, right, like this. I can make it smaller and I can drag and drop it up. Um, to the top here. And so now I have a project update. Great, right? And so what that means is that the project manager, program manager has to come in here and make an update. Here is an example. Here is an example update, right? And that's fine. It's good. You have to have editor access to it, but that's fine. You could provide a couple of bullet points here if you wanted to. It's a rich text field. Um, the other way that we do this is actually by um, putting in a metrics widget. So again, now I'm going to do a metrics widget. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and go add the data. And I'm going to go to my demo space here. Um, do, 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 do. I think I called it project demo. And maybe I want to pull it from the project plan information. Um, and I'm going to pull it here. And maybe I would have provided, you know, a quick summary um, here, for example, like just take an example um, and I click OK. And now this is showing up here. I can get rid of this um, and I can make this smaller and I can rename this to be project plan update. Right. And the same concept. It's a metrics field now. So it's updated from the underlying sheet. But same concept. I can go ahead and do this here. Now in there, I was pulling information in that is from a row um, within a project plan, right? So it's kind of like a metric, same concept here. I'm pulling in specific data from a cell, okay? Now that's the, that's the second option. So um, cells are fine, right? There's a limit to how many words. Another way to do it is um, to do it from the pro a project summary field. Right, and so here you might not have noticed this before, but there is this project summary over here and I can add a new field and I can have this be project update, okay, here. And then I can enter my project update, like here is what is happening in our project. And I can spell project because I'm a project manager. I actually own a company that does project management solutions. Anywho, here we go. So here's another way to do this. This is now in the sheet summary. I'm going to be able to X out of this. So now let's go back to our dashboard and see how we would do this again, right? So let's go back to our dashboard, project dashboard, and let's assume again we want to do a plot project update. So let's go ahead and edit and let's get rid of this one because we don't like this one anymore. This is the row information, right? Um, see, it's coming from the project plan. It's coming from a specific row. So here I'm going to, you know what, let's just get rid of this actually first. So I'm just going to delete this. Okay. 
Now here, I'm going to go ahead and add a metrics widget again, right? So I'm going to add a metrics widget. And here, I'm going to add my data. And I'm going to go back to my project plan again, back to my nice demo project plan. Here we go, Molly's demo project plan. Here we go, and we're gonna go to the project plan. But here, instead of grid data or the cell or row data that we had used previously, we're gonna go sheet summary data, and I'm gonna say, okay, we're gonna do the project update, right? So then, still thing, I'm showing the project update. I can get rid of that here. Um, and I'm going to make it small. And I'm going to bring it up top so you can see it up here. And now I have my project update. OK. There we go. So project update. All right. So those are the options that I had so far. So if you want to do a rich, if you want to do a field where your project manager or your operations manager or functional manager, whoever your manager is, whoever the person is that's providing update, if you want to give them a free text field, you have three options so far. The first one is to be able to do a uh, rich text field. That means they have to be able to edit the dashboard and they edit directly on the dashboard. Okay. The second one is a metrics for a row or a cell that is within a project plan or any sheet. Can't happen to be a row, it has to be a sheet, but you can pull from any cell within a sheet or multiple cells in a sheet. And then the third option is again, that metrics, but instead of doing the information from the grid data, this option up here is select data type for grid data, you're doing it from the summary sheet data. And just to remind everyone, the way that we did that was in, yes, back to editing, that's fine. Let's get rid of this here. Right. The way that we did that is we're going to come back to our uh, project plan here and we can go ahead over here to our summary section that pulls out and we can add additional columns. So this is a great place if you wanted to also do, for example, project health. Right. So you could do project level health here. You can do a symbol and you could do project health right here. And now your project managers can update it whenever they want. Right here, project health, there you go. It's a green project, right? And uh, so that comes from your project summary sheet. So Smartsheet just added another piece of functionality. And what it is, is it's a new column type. So I'm just gonna do it right here for right now. So I'm gonna insert a column to the left and see here, it even says new. They're even telling you like, hey, new feature, great right? And so you're going to do latest comment. And when you click on latest comment, it's going to the latest comment column displays the most recent comment in each row. So it's not going to show the whole set of comments. It's only going to show the most recent comment. So I'm going to click OK, right? And then I think that we added a comment somewhere. Maybe I was wrong, but oh, look, it just populated. So I just had to give it a second, right? So my most recent comment was the reply comment that I have. It's by Molly Giannis. It says cool post. And then it tagged Molly Giannis because I did the tag. So let's go back to the conversation piece so we know what we did, right? We had this one, which is example comment for phase one. I replied on that comment here, cool post at Molly. Molly Giannis, my user, cool post, Molly Giannis. And it gave the information here, okay? So now let's try it again and let's prove that this comment updates. Okay. I'm going to do that and I'm going to give it a moment. Now let's see, because I haven't actually tested this yet. Let's see if it automatically updates or like Smartsheet typically does. I have to go ahead and save it and then refresh. But let's give it a couple of seconds and we'll figure it out, right? Save and when I saved it, Molly Giannis, let's prove that this comment updates. Okay, so this is a cool functionality, right? Especially if you're having a conversation back and forth, you can now see what the latest comment is on each piece. So, oftentimes, what I'm doing, um, especially when we're setting up PMOs, which is kind of like our sweet spot, is we do kind of a project status update alongside project health and other things. And so, we do it via an update request that's pretty automated or we do it via subject, or if we're using control center, we'll probably do it via project metadata sheet. I mean, there's different options here, but I really like this ability to tie in what I already know is happening here um, and being able to see it here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the ability to see the cell history, right? And be able to see um, when it was last updated. 
So if I come here and um, actually this is easier for me, I'll just call it a milestone instead, right? Save. And then I come here and I can see the cell history and I can see, oh, Molly changed this on this date and this time. Now I can at least see the latest comment here, um, which is really cool. The other piece that I can do with this, because I know that my clients are already going to be asking and they're like, okay, great. Now we can see the latest comment, right? So um, I also like to do the date record functionality. So um, uh, date of latest comment, right? Um, and so now I can do this really cool thing. I can create a, oh, I don't do like doing it from the template. Um, anyways, uh, so date record comment, right? And so when a comment is added or changed, right? So if there's new, added, or changed, I can record a date here um, in the date of latest comment field, and then I can save it, right? So now I have another way if I go back to here um, and I save. And remember, this is an automation, so it's just going to trigger when it happens, right? So we're going to actually go ahead and do this. So we're going to, and see here how I can actually go ahead and update the comment right there. So when I, let me just show you that again, because that was kind of cool. Ready? So I'm here. Great. There's comments. There's comments. I want to go ahead and add a comment. It pops up right there because this is the comment field, right? How cool is this? It's pretty cool, right? All right. So now I would expect that when I go ahead and refresh, it should update and say, how cool is this? And my automation should run and I should be able to see the date of the last comment. So what I like to do about this, I know I just get so excited, but what I like to do about this is I can now show a report of all of the latest comments that have happened like in the last week or something like that, right? So I can now kind of sort down by comments. So this functionality, this mentioning back and forth, like this is awesome. Like it's really great for collaboration, work collaboration. I'm loving it. You can, um, you know, tag people and things like that. Um, but now I have some really cool capabilities on my dashboards and things like that to be able to show the latest comment in the field and be able to see the date of the latest comment. And if I want to go in and see the specific information, I can have, I can click on it. And when I click on it, it pops up and shows me this other information. Okay. Well, again, name is Molly Giannis, um, and I'm the founder of Echo Consulting. We are a project management solutions company. We love Smartsheet and implementing project management offices, operational workflows, any kind of business automation with Smartsheet. So if you're looking for support, um, definitely subscribe to our channel because we have new tips and tools all the time. Um, and also reach out if you're looking for support with really maximizing uh, the return on investment for your investment in Smartsheet because it's a really awesome tool. And we really believe in building self efficiency, not dependency. So our goal is to help your team be self-sufficient and learn all these cool things that you can do to make your life so much better. So again, thanks.